Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for the, well, for the guidance you have given us. We stand guided, Mr. Speaker. Having said, Mr. Speaker, that Mr. Speaker, as the whip of the minority, Mr. Speaker, and we have, we have in this house, we have no one else to address other than the Speaker, Mr. Speaker, and that's the rule. Mr. Speaker, the issue you have just raised is a very weighty matter, Mr. Speaker, with the minority side. Mr. Speaker, you have put facts very clear, and we agree with you, that uh, it is true speakers are sponsored by parties, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I remember in 2013, we sponsored Marende as the minority, and we were defeated in this house by Jubilee, Mr. Speaker. That time, it was Jubilee Coalition. But Mr. Speaker, also, you have got, you, we, recently, new development happened, Mr. Speaker. And you know, we are in the season of politics. Everyone has a constitutional right to join any political formation he wants. Mr. Speaker, in the last election, you were also sponsored by Jubilee Party. But Mr. Speaker, the records that are now available politically at the Register of Political Parties is that you are the party leader of the Democratic Party, Mr. Speaker. And now that is not Jubilee that sponsored you, Mr. Speaker. And you have formed a coalition with Kenya Kwanzaa, Mr. Speaker, which is another formation outside Jubilee, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have never doubted your impartiality. That I can say it on record. We have never so far, until when we saw in a hotel in Karen, Mr. Speaker, signatures and cer ceremony happening, you signing as the party leader of the of Democratic Party, Mr. Speaker, we started now feeling that surely we might not get a fair treatment in the House, Mr. Speaker. There might be no impartiality, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you are a man who, is, who has so much fidelity to the Constitution. I can say that also without fear, because I have served with, under you or with you in this house for 10 years now, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, issues that are raised here in this house, Mr. Speaker, are issues that anywhere, you cannot raise it anywhere else, Mr. Speaker. We cannot speak in barrios, in, in, in pin rolls, in rallies, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the issues raised by Honorable Otiende Omolo, Mr. Speaker, as you have captured them well, Mr. Speaker, are issues that are going to affect us for the remaining period of this house, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if now you are the leader of the Democratic Party and a member of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition, Mr. Speaker, and you are sponsored by Jubilee Party as the Speaker, Mr. Speaker, how are you going to balance those interests, Mr. Speaker? Because the people who are supporting you now and chairing you here, Mr. Speaker, are not even people of Jubilee, Mr. Speaker. These are UDA members, Mr. Speaker. These are Kenya Kwanzaa members, Mr. Speaker. These are the ones who are chairing you, Mr. Speaker. I don't know for what reason do they think that you are a speaker for now Kenya Kwanzaa. I don't know why Duale is so happy to when you are talking, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is in my view, it is in my view, Mr. Speaker, I, am, I have said, Mr. Speaker, and I'm, I'm, I am very happy that you've given us time to express and ventilate what we think, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we want to have, we want to continue the House being handled the way it has been handled for the last nine years under your leadership, Mr. Speaker. We are only worried that going forward now, Mr. Speaker, as you, now that the political dynamics have changed, she, well, Honorable Fatuma Getty has raised weighty issues, as Honorable Otiende has said, that can lead even to the impeachment of the Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, if they are proved to the allegations to be true, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, how do we feel? Are we safe in this House, Mr. Speaker? that we can continue conducting our business under, I am told, rumor has it that, Mr. Speaker, you're even pro being proposed to be the running mate of the deputy president, Mr. Speaker. Rumor has it, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> rumor has it, Mr. Speaker. We support all that, Mr. Speaker. We have no problem with that, Mr. Speaker, honestly speaking. But, Mr. Speaker, this house must be impartial. This house must be conducted, in a, and you are the custodian of the standing orders, Mr. Speaker. It is you who applies the standing orders in this house against us, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I don't know now, whether the, 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 the rule of impartiality and fair and natural justice, fairness, will be accorded to us as the minority, Mr. Speaker, of this house, and whether Honorable Fatuma Gedi will get fair treatment and judgment on the issues that he has raised, Mr. Speaker. Those are the issues, Mr. Speaker, that is worrying us, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, no, 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 now, now, on our members, you know that 